What's up, Gary with Self.Dev. Today, we're gonna to talk about how many projects you need on your portfolio to get a job. The answer is four. If you're just looking for an answer, you gotta have at least four. If you're not just looking for uh, the binary answer, you can have any number of projects on your portfolio. If you live in like a one stoplight town and the mechanic needs a website and you've got a portfolio with just a simple one page project on it, uh, you could probably go to them and say, hey, look, I've built this. I can build you a website. It'll cost this much. Um, I'll go ahead and build the website up front for you. And if you like it, you can pay me and we'll host it for you. And that could be a way of getting a job. Now, it's probably not going to get you a job at like Google or Facebook, unless it's like a recreation of Facebook and you did all the back end stuff or a recreation of Google and you like built your own search engine. Um, those might be impressive enough. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can get a job with just one, por one project. Uh, I would say. It's not, like I said, it's not binary. If you have one project, your chances of getting a job or let alone an interview are gonna be way lower versus somebody who has like 12 or 13 or 14 projects. Um, the more projects you have, the higher manager can look at it and say, okay, he's got some experience, he knows what he's doing. Um, he knows JavaScript, HTML, CSS, okay. And this one he uses some SAS and this one they use jQuery, Ajax requests, uh, React, all sorts of different stuff. So obviously, you want to have more, but don't let not having 14 projects in your portfolio stop you from applying for jobs because, I mean, jobs are going to come and go. It's not like there's one job and it's just sitting there waiting. And if you apply and get rejected, you're never going to get a job as a web developer. Jobs get posted. Jobs get taken down. Um, now, where can you find projects to build? Number one, uh, if you don't want to pay any money, which if you're trying to become a web developer, I think it's worth it to invest in yourself and pay a little bit for quality projects. But free stuff on Free Code Camp. Uh, I'm gonna have a link to all these projects in the description as well if you wanna check those out. But Free Code Camp, it's got a bunch of free stuff. It'll teach you HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, SAS, React, Ajax, all sorts of different stuff. And they've got like five front-end web developer projects, which I think is like a tribute page a form, um, a blog post maybe. I can't remember the other ones, but they don't look too great. So you will have to do a little bit of design work to make them look better. Um, I mean, you get what you pay for, but that's a great free resource. Um, I personally feel like paying the money is worth it for whether it's like Team Treehouse or Code Academy or Udemy. Um, Cause if you're paying the money, then you have pressure to finish the projects. Like Team Treehouse, tech degree is 200 bucks a month. Um, but I mean, with that, you're paying 200 bucks a month. So you're like, all right, I have to focus and do these projects and get these knocked out because I don't want to spend six months on this tech degree when I can do it in three. Um, and then plus you get really good quality projects. Uh, I think they're really professional too. Um, Code Academy is probably pretty similar. I used them a couple years ago and they didn't have like a tech degree or anything like that, but it looks like they've got something like that now. Um, I know they do have a lot of good free stuff, so Code Academy, definitely check that out for their free stuff too. Um, I think they've kind of limited their free stuff versus what they used to have, but their learning environment's still pretty cool. And then there is Udemy, like I said. Um, I, think I haven't really used Udemy, to pull Udemy before, but Josh Fluke and I think Coding Phase, they recommended those. I mean, that resource, so obviously that one's pretty good too. Then there is, what is it called? edX and Coursera. I'm not sure if those actually have projects on them, but those are two other great resources to learn how to code. And also, I'm probably gonna start posting projects as well in Slack. So if you wanna come join, Slack link is in the description. It's kinda empty right now, but just come hang out, we'll build it up. Could be in, can be my day one people when we're small. Uh, I think that's about it though. So, yeah, I'd say probably like four or five, six projects is a good number to have to start applying. I mean, don't let that stop you. If you live in like a big city, you've got one project, start applying because there's going to be a countless number of jobs you can apply for. And they might reject you now, but you might have five or six projects later and they look at it again when you reapply in a couple months and they're like, all right, we're gonna bring this dude in for an interview now. 
Um, also check out my portfolio too. Like I said, haven't updated it since I got the job. Probably gonna try to update it soon. Wanna have like a slider to where I can put my work-related projects on there and probably gonna add more of the Team Treehouse projects I've done. But yeah, like I said, leave comments if you need anything else and I will see you next time. Peace.